What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here. Today, we're looking at Garden of Man Chapter 4 gameplay. That's right. The Garden of Man 4 official trailer just came out. Like, as of recording this, it's been out for like 30 minutes. So, I put on my jacket, I'm sitting in my chair, and I'm putting on my detective eyes. Is that a thing? <laughs> See, I want to see if I can find some secrets hidden in the background like we always do. We always find some sort of hidden secret. They always hide some things in these trailers. I want to find them. But not only that, we're going to watch all of the teaser trailers as well. And then we'll even go into Garden of Band Band 3. And I'll try to like recreate an area. Kind of give us a taste of what this new game's going to be like. But let's begin. So I dragged the cursor all the way to the beginning. And it starts with a bird here. It looks like it's screaming. Oh, it literally is. It is a screaming bird. Okay, intense. Let's see. Okay, that's slow Celine. Oh, whoa. What is this? Okay. Oh, whoa. Jumbo Josh is like locked up. What? Okay, we're going to have to slow this down. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, my gosh. And that's Stinger Flynn as well. Whoa. Okay. All right. I feel like I can see some secrets already. Hmm. There's Sheriff Toadster right there. Huh. All right. <laughs> There's already so much information packed in like just even the first like 15 seconds. Oh. Okay. Ooh. That's Queen Mount Celia. And it says nothing is funny enough. Whoa. Oh, where's this? This is like a castle. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Wait, whoa! <laughs> That's her! I can see her crown popping up from her throne! Queen Van Celia! Oh my gosh, there's so much packed into this uh, trailer. Okay, so far, I'm pumped. It literally starts off screaming, literally, with a screaming bird here. And look, do you notice the detail? You can see, like, the throat, like, shaking with the screams. Look at that. Man, you Fork Brothers are getting better and better at making these games. And there's also so much story, like lore, packed into these games now. It's really, really cool. It's getting better and better. So let's go through. I want to see if we can find any secrets. I don't know who that was. Was that the Tardibird or, or not? I don't know. It looks looks a little different, right? So it continues with showing Slow Celine in what seems like a jail cell. This whole chapter is about Sheriff Toadster, right? So are all of these like jail cells? Did he capture all of these monsters and put them in cells, right? I don't know. Because then it continues forward. Is this him? Because if that is, he looks kind of gross. He does really look like, like a toad from the back. You can see like all of his bones. He's shiny. Oh gosh. Okay. And then this. What is this? If you think about it, every game that we've seen so far of Garden of Ban Ban, Jumbo Josh has been the big crazy monster, right? He's been the unstoppable force. Even when he was climbing up to capture us and he gets smashed, he comes back. You know, he's fighting. He even took down Stinger Flynn and now he's caged up, his hands locked. He's looking at us like, uh, hey, can you save me? <laughs> so this is crazy. That's actually like a big thing that he's locked up. Does that mean that Sheriff Toadster is more powerful than like all of these monsters? Man, that's kind of crazy though. Hold on. So, okay, okay, okay. And then what's this? There's like six systems that are operable. It looks like air, but it says temporarily um, shut down. Oh, you know what this is? It's the, um, the, there's the vents later on, right? So you have to shut down these vents maybe, and then you can go into the vents. Oh, that's probably what's gonna be, uh, okay. What is this, though? I mean, this is the most elaborate cage for Stinger Flynn. It's literally designed to contain Stinger Flynn. This is crazy. And, you know, he seemed the most powerful in the last chapter, but, like, if he's captured, then what does that mean? Ah, uh, but then it continues on. We got the baby of Hilla Birds. So adorable. I think we always call one of them Olive. Look at Olive. Uh, like, I mean, she's adorable. Look at that. So what is this, though? <laughs> this kind of puzzle, I don't understand. There's some things where it's like there's not enough information given, right? Because then we go forward and I think, yeah, there's a pillow bird right there. Is this also a cage? Is she's she's locked in here as well? I don't know. Okay, but then these right here, these are the vents that I think we'll go through. And, um, oh, also, did you notice this? It seems like... Um, Sheriff Toadster is not chasing us. It seems like he's guiding us. So is he 
a villain? Is he like on our side? Is he like, hey, don't worry about all those monsters. I locked them up for you. Which is also creepy because it's like, how 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 did you do that? <laughs> but look, <laughs> the baby the villain bird's like, don't worry, this guy's cool. <laughs> oh, but look at this. There, see, like, we're 34 seconds into this, and we've already had so much information here. So, this is Ban Baleen just sitting in the corner in her cell. It's really sad because these are kind of like her three friends. She's sitting in the corner, all sad. You know, I really feel for her over the past, like, like the last game, you really kind of connected with her as well because you had to go through the whole, like, Jumbo Josh thing together. But, I mean, look at her. She's like... You know, she's going crazy in this whole facility. You really want Bandolina to like have like a good ending, right? Maybe we'll be able to like save her. I don't know. Oh man. And then what is this? See, like, do you guys have any ideas? I know that some of you right now are like, oh, I have the exact idea of what this is. I have no clue. It kind of just looks like an apple tree in a green room, right? There's a chair. I think, oh yeah. There's also like a little uh, watering can. Maybe we have to grow apples and then we throw them at something. I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing really like secretive in this. I wonder if this is kind of just like, you know, like, ah, this is also here. <laughs> and then this, this is crazy. There's a green, yellow, and red elevator looking thing, but it looks like they've been turned into a train. It's weird because it's obviously not a train. It's like a really fast moving elevator. Maybe the blue one is the one that takes you across to different areas, but the, those, those ones, the green, the yellow, and the red, they morph together into a fast train. Cause see like, where are we even going in this one? That's crazy. Now, what is this? Cause it seems like we have like a couch icon over here and then we have a sun icon and then it's 8.54. Like, is that the time when the game comes out? 8.54 a.m. Woohoo! See, Jumbo Josh peeks up. I wonder if there's gonna be like a puzzle where you have to like walk over to here and you only have a certain amount of time and a character will pop up. Then you have to run to the character, maybe interact with something and then run back and see what the next character is. I mean, that's probably not what's gonna happen but it's an interesting idea. <laughs> also, did you see this? We pick up a ticket here instead of the purple key card. And also we have that one thing from like the end of uh, chapter three, right? The googly eyes, the, the hats on the end, the one where you push it and it's like, uh, it's like prepared to be ban ban or something like that. So that's here now. There's an orange key card and then we have a ticket system. What is this? Whoa. See, and this is probably the craziest thing of them all. Right here is the castle for Queen Bouncelia. It really feels out of place, like a very unique monster because this is the first one where they have their own like unique style of area. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's like the other monsters have a unique style area, but this one is really dramatic. It's a castle. You have the Queen Bouncelia banners. You have like a giant mushroom. You have like one of those like wooden stakes to defend the giant door. This entire area feels so giant. And then it cuts to Jester. <laughs> Nothing is funny enough. I don't know what Jester's role is, right? Because Jester, the word Jester is like a clown, right? Where you have to be funny in order to entertain Jester and Queen. That makes sense. What am I saying? You know, like in the royal times, you were a queen or a king and you had a Jester that made you laugh and entertained you, but nothing is funny enough, which means that Queen Bouncelia is probably making Jester's life terrible, right? And so he goes and writes like, nothing is funny enough. I can't entertain the queen. And so Jester is just sad. Oh, I think we kind of pieced it together there. Okay. So then what is the interaction between Jester gonna be? Whoa. And then right here, this is outside of the castle. I don't know what this like giant thing is, this like white banner thing in the back, but it almost feels like this is something you can like ride on or interact with. It's being like covered. But we have Nab Nab, Queen Bounce, Celia, Slow Celine, Jumbo Josh, Ban Balina, Ban Ban, a Pillar Bird, Captain Fiddlestinger, Flynn, Sheriff Toaster, Nabs, nah, Nab Nalina, but no jester. There's no jester there. I mean, Nab Nab and Nab Nalina are like the two that are the furthest out. But I mean, Jester's not even on there. <laughs> huh, that's interesting. I wonder if he's even gonna be in the chapter. And then this right here is the ultimate reveal at the very end of a long hallway in the throne is Queen Bouncelia. Wow. So now that we've seen that, let's go look at the teasers and see if anything is revealed just in the teasers. So with all that information we have now, what do we get to kind of like reveal? So we see that Singer Flynn has been like knocked out. 
Ban Ban's knocked out right now. Oh, wait, that doesn't look like Sheriff Toadster. That looks like Jester. Hold on. You can see half of the body get revealed in the shadows and it's like spiky right there. Do you see it? And then half is smooth. That's, that's Jester. And then that's why he wakes up. I wonder if Jester helps. Huh? That's interesting. All right, so let's go back to the first teaser now, which I don't think gives really any information. It's just very, very brief. But we can see we have Zulfius right here. We have, oh, yep, there was Jester. There's Jester right here. Um, okay, so then what else is revealed? Huh? I think it shows something, right? Oh, it was a hat, which is, I think, just Sheriff Toadster. So there's not really much information in the first teaser, I guess. Right? Let me see. Let's keep watching. Oh, and the crown. Oh, no, wait. Is that a crown? That just looks like a star. Kind of, right? I don't know. Maybe it was a crown. All right. Well, so far, I think <laughs> most of all, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really hyped to see the new chapter. Um, we've been waiting a while. And you know what? We've also done our own Jester and own Queen Bound Celia kind of like rendition where Kokosko and Komet remade everything. So it's really interesting to see like now the comparison of what it's going to actually look like. So I just right now went into the game and tried to remake the jail cell. I just spawned in uh, <laughs> Bandolina. What is happening here? Um, hello? Bandolina, what's, <laughs> what's going on? She looks confused. I put her behind the glass like in the... Uh, in the trailer but look at this we have like you know the gray walls it's empty we got the glass oh even she's walking around okay creepy but it seems like we're gonna have to go through these jail cells and maybe like talk to them and be like what do i do to get out and they're like oh well you know blah 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 is crazy whether it's like sheriff toadster or bouncelia or jester right we're gonna have to figure out some information maybe open the doors get them to like help us I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, we're obviously gonna have to do puzzles. Maybe that's where we go and get an apple. You know, maybe Bouncelia or Bandolina is not listening to us and we're like, can you help us? And she's like, you don't ever help me. You know, something like that. We go and get an apple. We're like, come on, don't you want an apple? Come on. <laughs> she's like, hmm, apples are good. Can I like make it <laughs> break this with the, uh, the thing here. I, I made this yellow glass and now I have my <laughs> drone stuck in it. So from what we've seen, I don't know what to think about Sheriff Toadster. It seems like he might <laughs> he might help us, but he also might trick us. We also have seen the baby pillar bird. Oh man, there's so much. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but that's a good thing. You know, I wanna be surprised. I think maybe Sheriff Toadster helps us because this looks like the, uh, what is it? The throne area for Queen Bouncelia. And maybe he like takes you to her. I don't know. But then again, I don't know why everybody is captured. It seems like really weird because the entire game really feels like you're you're wandering around and there's all these monsters and they're roaming and you have to solve their puzzles and they might attack you. But now it feels like they've all been stopped. And especially with the nothing is funny enough, it really does seem like Jester might help us, right? It does seem that way. Well, I think that's all the information we have. You know, it's kind of a quick video. I want to see all the comments down below. We could work together as a unit and try to figure out what's going to happen. And now though, since this came out, I really think that the game is going to come out soon, right? It doesn't say at the end the time, but I feel like it's going to come out soon. So I went and I just looked at the Garden of Band Man 3 trailer. When it came out, two weeks after that, that's when the game came out. So maybe if we had to guess, it would come out in two weeks then, which maybe that means that it would be like July 28th when this one comes out. Who knows though, maybe it'll come out sooner. I guess we'll have to see when the like announcement trailer comes out for the date. But man, there's so much. So, yep, tell me what you guys think. Maybe we can think of some ideas of what might happen. I'm excited. I hope you are too, and I hope I made you smile here today. That's all I want to do every single day. So if you're ever having a bad day, you can look up your boy, Dak Blake. We can play some games together, and I can cheer you up once more. And thank you for subscribing as well, and joining the Dak Pack as we go towards the 3 million subscribers. I thank God every day I'm able to do things like this. So, hopefully, I can do that in the next episode. Probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, Peace out, my dudes.